guys so it's Monday and Christian's home because it's Victoria Day so it's a holiday I haven't vlogged yet because one I was out for lunch and I was gonna start vlogging once I got back we went out with some of Christian's co-workers to have some dim sum and that was good because that was my first time actually having dim sum other than that time Brooklyn and I made some stuff at home and so that was fun just to try all these different things yeah, and then we came back and then I started working on <laughs> writing up stuff for my book revisions and I just got so into it and it was taking so long and it's now quarter after four and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even start the vlog when we got back because I've been at this for so long. Because it wasn't just me typing out what I jotted down in my book yesterday. I was going through the pages, making sure that my notes were right and maybe clarifying a few extra things, that type of thing. But also there's... There's something with my book that I really want to change. My editor said not to do to request any major changes and this probably counts as major, but I think it's really important and I think it should be changed. So when I made my outline for my book, I had to fill in these boxes and you can see there are two pages next to each other because that represents a two page spread. So for example, like poses is a spread, clothes is a spread, accessories is a spread. The two pages go together. But at the start of one chapter, I had a two page spread that the editor reduced into one page. And so all the pages that followed after that got bumped up by one. So instead of my spreads falling as a spread, you'd have part one of the lesson on this page and then part two of the lesson on the back, which is not really good because if someone's flipping through the book, they see the pages as a spread. And what they see here is not gonna make sense because it's gonna be a part two of something and there's gonna be no title so that like it's going to be confusing for the viewer so i'm trying to request that we split that first page back into two pages again but we can keep the first page as she'd made it and then i will draw something new that can completely fill the page next to it so that she doesn't have to redesign this page we just insert an extra one and then later on down the line there's a page where she took one lesson and split it into two pages well because technically it was two little lessons on one page she split them to be their own lessons on their own pages and the one i don't even really like that much so i'm going to request that we just delete that one and that way the chapter stays the same length we split that one page into two without having to redesign or reposition or anything and then we just simply remove a different page down the line so hopefully the editor agrees to that because like it is bothering me so bad like i cannot <laughs> know if the if the one lesson doesn't fall on the same two page spread it's gonna really annoy me like a lot a lot that entire chapter is just gonna look dumb okay i'm finally done the revisions the image stuff took a while because some of the things involved were step-by-step -step tutorials and I had to rescan stuff and the thing with a lot of step-by-steps is I did them very linear like I'd work on a little bit and then I would scan it then I'd work on it a bit more and scan it and thankfully nothing colored need to be resubmitted except for a final image I still had to tweak it so that the coloring and everything looked the same as what it was previously because before I would have all my steps in the same Photoshop file and I would tweak levels and things all together as like an adjustment layer so that each layer like each step got the same level of tweaking so that they would all look consistent. And so that was kind of tricky having to make it look consistent. And then I had a couple, a couple, a couple that were drawing step-by-steps that I had to resubmit each image. And so basically what I did was I just scanned the final image and then erased the bits that didn't need to be there for that step. And that's how I did that. But it involved a lot of cleanup and making sure it looked good. So it took me a while to do that. It's been hours. It's like 6.40 or something. Yeah, 6.34. I'm running out of daylight. We still have some. It should be light out for a couple hours yet, but I need to get filming my Shrinky Dinks video. I filmed the intro earlier, and I need to actually film the video itself now, and I kind of wanted to film my face too and some real-time stuff, not just fast-forwarded stuff. Like I don't want it to look like a speed paint video. I want it to be more interactive. So I do want some daylight. I do have lights I can put up too, but not the same so I've been filming stuff for my Friday video which involves shrinky dinks and I did some art I shrunk it whatever but I'm gonna film the rest of it tomorrow because I realized this shrinky dinks paper I bought was the white paper not the clear paper I don't think I even realized it came in different colors 
And so I just bought some shrinky dinks paper and then I was like, I opened it up and I was like, I thought it was just always clear. Now it was white and it doesn't look as good. So I want to get more. There's not on Amazon that does the next day delivery and I cannot find it anywhere except to Sears, but it's not the Shrinky Dinks brand, it's some other brand, but who cares what the brand is, as long as it does the same thing. But when I try to look for it, it's on the walmart.com website and michaels.com, but not on the .ca websites, which is really annoying. So yeah, I did find that other brand at Sears, but they closed at six today and it is a holiday. I'm gonna go tomorrow to get more. The only thing is though, tomorrow's my live stream day, so I'm probably gonna have to work on it during the live stream because Christian's parents are coming to visit and they were gonna come up Thursday. They have since changed their mind. They're gonna come up to, not tomorrow, on Wednesday now. So I just have tomorrow to finish up my video. And so I think I will work on it during the stream because that's really my only option. <laughs> but yeah, because they're visiting, there's not gonna be a Friday game stream. There will still be the Sunday morning stream because that's just for three hours early in the morning, so it doesn't really affect anything. But we're gonna have to drop the game one this Friday. Baby, baby, baby. We finished the last three episodes of Scream Queens and now we gotta put the bedding back on the bed. Christian's been doing some laundry to wash our bedding and the spare bedroom bedding. Oh baby. Oh, so cute. Wah. I'm just gonna fold a bit of laundry now. Most of the stuff here is stuff I previously folded and did not put away. It's been sitting on here, and so I need to fold the rest of it. And then we will start on some new laundry tomorrow. Shmi is changing the game for people like me. Wow. Someone commented in the vlogs that the pillows looked like they needed to be defuzzed. Oh yes, oh yes they do. Here we go. I could just be a salesman for this thing. <laughs> oh man, buy your own fabric shaver today. Use my link to buy it on Amazon. <laughs> Just a warning, this thing is addicting to use, but all your stuff will look so much nicer. Can I have some space here? Now, we need to compare the pillows. Okay, this one's not actually that bad on this side. <laughs> look how dingy and gross this one looks. And look how clean and beautiful this one looks. Also, we need to empty the trap to see how much of the treasure we get. Now, a little bit of it did come from the dress, but not much because I only did a little tiny section of the dress. And the dress wasn't truly pilling. It was more like fuzzies. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it got way up in there. It's spilling out. That's how much there was. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. The back of my Fitbit has been busted for a while this little piece here and I had it glued with some tacky glue which worked temporarily but it popped off again and so I'm gonna use my E6000 glue which I didn't have previously I just picked this up last week so I'm gonna use that because this glue fixes everything oh no it's oozing out already no why does it always do that Okay, there we go, and I'm gonna put in this 
bobby pin so that it stays apart here so it doesn't glue itself shut. That should hold. Now we let this dry. I'm also going to glue the back of my camera a little bit. The back of my camera is accordion-like. It can flip back like this and it can flip up like a selfie screen. But as you can see, it's really loose. And that's because some screws are loose. These used to never get loose until I was in Arizona. They got loose, we tightened them, they got loose again, I tightened them, they got loose again. Like it's an endless cycle. They just keep loosening now when they used to be good. And so I figured why not just glue this little plate down on both sides. So I'm gonna take out the screws, glue the backing down and put the screws back in and hopefully that's good. There, it's all glued and screwed, and now we let it dry. Okay, I'm scrolling through the Make Canada Sexier tag on Twitter because it's trending. And where did these cups come from? A wine glass with the Tim Hortons logo? Like what, 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 what? Uh, the ultimate glass. Anyway, I think it's time for me to hit the hay. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bubbles. Just letting it happen. <laughs> Doesn't she don't you need that thing? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <Stop> that. <laughs> maybe she's going.